It looks like I've kept the best for last for last but Roxette have been <laughs> a part of my life. I ha I've had different uh, favorite bands in my life so far. Roxette they have been one, then there were REM, Placebo for a while. When I uh, when I really loved Roxette I would go to uh, record shops and look for their single CDs that would not be, you know, would be imported only from Japan or somewhere. And I remember once I went to the Ricordi, which is a media store in the in Milan. And while I was browsing for those, I became a friend with two girls who were doing the same. And one of them had had this huge collection of uh, 45 uh, and uh, singles. <laughs> and, uh, I was overwhelmed by her uh, fanatism somehow. And then later on when I joined another band in Milan, a similar things happened that I started talking with my singer, she was a girl, and while we were at her, her place, she had this, uh, this drawer and she took out a huge collection of uh, singles and of rarities from Roxette. And in the end, I don't know why, but it always turns out that I get to know people who, who likes Roxette. It's like a, <laughs> a legacy, maybe. Also because they they started became uh, became famous in the 80s, but they never really came back like as a, in a fashion way. But they're still playing, and I saw them two years ago, and I still like them. They're very pop, and they're very much influenced by you know, a lot of pop culture, pop music and it's always a pleasure to listen to them. So I'm going to leave you with their Unplugged. I loved it when they did the Unplugged in MTV, now they don't do anymore but they're still great. So here are Roxette. If you make the choice, the girls will tell you 